Tonight, a woman sharing her story after road rage got out of hand. The Sheriff's Police Department is investigating an incident that a driver caught on video of a man grabbing a woman and making threats. Ken's Five reporter Troy Kless spoke with the woman and police about this bizarre incident. Not every drive to work is smooth. Evelyn Dane was going through shirts when she says she passed a man in a red Jeep and got in front of him. And that's when he started like getting really, really close. And so I kind of like tapped my brakes and he lost it after that. That's when he got next to me and he started like kind of like pretending to bump my car. Near the corner of Elbow Road and Roy Richard Drive is where Dane says the man caught up to her. I could have de-escalated before it got to that point, but I didn't know it was going to get to that point. She was stopped at a red light in the middle lane when she noticed the man come up to her car, so she started recording. Honk! What the f your problem? I'll kill your Dane also fights back, swatting at the man during their argument. I'm kind of disappointed in the way that I reacted. I, I wish I would have reacted differently, but like in the moment, people say that like, oh, you should have done this or I would have done this, but you have no idea. Like, you're right there. You're a dead the man's identity is unclear and police are not sure if charges will be filed. Dane posted the video on Facebook and called police hours later. A police report states Dane had her doors locked but window rolled down at the time because her AC was broken. Dane wishes things could have gone differently. People need to just be careful on the roads. Try not to make people mad. Don't cut them off. Don't. Yeah, I'm totally changing my whole way of driving after that happened. She wants the confrontation to stay in her rear view. Church police say their investigation is ongoing. Troy Kless, Ken's 5. I would have freaking unalived that man if I was in that car with that girl. Would have slammed that old fool headfirst into the concrete. You don't treat a female like that, let alone threaten to unalive her. And you think you can put your hands on her? Who do you think you are? You acted aggressive from the start, tailgated her, and made her feel nervous. And you want to accuse her of brake checking you? She is fairly young. Maybe she is a new driver who is just trying her best. As you can see from her demeanor, she seems like a good person. She doesn't seem like the type to want to cause people harm intentionally. F anyone who wants to side with the man. It's 100% his fault. He should have left some space in between his car and hers. You are supposed to leave a three second distance in between your car and the car in front of you and at least a one and a half car length distance while you are stationary and he failed to do that. Then he blames the girl. The girl is nowhere at fault. Anyone who says it's her fault is obviously a biased woman hater, which there is too much of on YouTube. People always want to complain about Karens, but this man right here, he is a male Karen. And that is an understatement because he is actually much worse than that. He is what's wrong with America and men in general. Too many Americans love to road rage. And research says that most people who road rage are men, not women. So before all you male YouTubers want to talk about how modern women are Karens, Look at and evaluate how your own male demographic acts.